DNS. What is it? What does it do? And why do we care? Let's go ahead and take a look. So if I'm a user and I'm trying to get to a website, I want to get to google.com. I can't go straight to google.com because I don't know what the IP address is. If I knew the IP address, I could just type in the IP 142.251.46.174 to get to google.com. But writing down that IP address and memorizing those IPs uh, becomes cumbersome, which is what people quickly found out in the early days of the internet, which is why DNS was created. DNS is a server that sits between the user and the internet or the website that you're trying to get to. And you can give it an easy to remember name. So let's say google.com. Think of DNS as the yellow pages of the internet. Your DNS server collects both names and numbers and pairs them together so that when a user on this side types in google.com, it can translate it to this number 142.251.46.174 and it will show that back to the user. That's a very simplified way of how DNS works and what it's for. There are other um, DNS servers as well. There are TLD name servers or top level domain name servers. Uh, what that is what, or what that means is when you make a request out to google.com, the top level domain name server actually looks at dot com first so it looks at all the dot com addresses and then once it finds the dot com address then their um, dns server and the authoritative dns servers take over and they will do the rest to actually look for the google.com authoritative domain name servers are a little bit outside the scope of an introductory video but we can go ahead and do a deep dive on dns in another video and we'll show you a little bit more about how that works just know that there are at least three types of domain servers, DNS name servers, top level domain name servers, and authoritative name servers, and root name servers. Thanks again for watching our video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.